Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces Back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to go ahead and check out a few things, starting with this Boeing Vertol Model 107, new Murtak Airways. As you guys can see right there, it says it on the side. Awesome. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get inside this thing, and we are going to be flying over to a heliport, where we have two more versions of this helicopter, and we also have a heliport to look at. So, let's go ahead and get inside this thing, and uh, get it moving. <laughs> Okay, so we have to get inside first. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Climb up the little ladder stair things and close the door. How do we do that? There we go. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, as you guys can see, we got loads of single seats on the sides. At the back, we got double seats. And uh, that's pretty cool. We have cabin lights right here. We can dim the cabin lights as well if we want to. Uh, and that is pretty cool. We have an advertisement. No way. Having trouble starting your business? Consider random, <laughs> random create financial investments. Yeah, do that. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get in here. Close this up. Get inside our little pilot seat, which is on this side. And uh, figure out how to actually start this thing. So, power master, APU run. All right, turn the generators on. Awesome. Dome light, white. Beacons, nav lights. Uh, we don't need landing lights. Seatbelt sign should go on. Um, what else do we need to do? Position hold, GPS, we don't need those. Uh, engine masters. Let's go ahead and whack those on. Uh, and... Yeah. Wait, is, am I missing a, um... Am I missing a breaker somewhere? I think I might be. Alright, I've started the engines. All I needed to do was this and this. There we go. Uh, and I can't really see what that says there, but, um... We're gonna go ahead and assume it says... Uh, up. <laughs> I mean, I know it definitely doesn't say up, but, um... Alright, cool. We're good to go. All right, we're moving forwards. This is pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go, I guess. Yeah, I think we're... Whoa, I think we're ready to go. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. Now we're going. Uh, right, okay. So what we can do uh, and where we are actually heading, uh, we're going to Halt Town, which is right here. Uh, and I believe the actual place is somewhere down here. I just teleported. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, uh, I teleported back and it seems to have fallen out of the sky anyway, so uh, I guess we're pretty lucky on that ground. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and get inside the front here as quickly as we... Get me in! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Nope, nope, nope. Let me let me in the helicopter, please. Oh, I hate this. Let, there we go. All right, we're in. Go ahead and turn that off. Uh, why has it turned itself off? Why, why has it turned itself off? We need to turn this off. Okay, but it shouldn't have died. It should not have died. What has gone on here? Alright, here we go. Do this again. There we go. We need it to go to N. Alright, that should start it up. And then we can go again. Alright, there we go. Also, this does start without its actual brakes on. So, uh, the parking brake is not on in this thing. And that is why it is currently moving. But, uh, if we go ahead and we start this thing up. And we get up into the sky. The parking brake really doesn't matter. Alright, so there we go. We're in this... What is going on? Whoa, what just happened? Oh, Mayday, Mayday! <laughs> We're going down! Whoa, whoa, it, it just broke! It just broke on me! Open the door, let me out! What in the world? What just happened? That's insane! Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is something to do with what happened uh, when I teleported away. Anyway, we're gonna get back inside, and uh, hopefully this time, none of that happens. <laughs> Let's just get in uh, and get going. Alright, close all the doors. I'm going to get this thing started, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, we are also going to go ahead and set a waypoint over there where I uh, teleported to before. Bam, like that. We're going to go ahead and smack it in there because that makes sense, and we will be turning this on very soon. Um, how do I do the altitude? I I'm assuming that does the altitude as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though, so let's just get this thing moving, get it out of here again, uh, and we'll see what happens from, from there. Scoot, scoot! Let's go, go, go! Yeah, nice! Alright, here we go. Get up into the sky. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and we are actually... Yeah, we're good to go. Alright, so if you guys have made it to this point in the video, I just want to say if you guys are enjoying it, please leave a like on the video down below. That would be awesome. Also, if you aren't subscribed already, if you want more content like this, please consider subscribing. And also, you should totally comment what kind of airline uh, you think would actually run this thing. Because, um, yeah, give me some suggestions down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep flying. Okay, so if I go ahead and I turn the autopilot on, the GPS on... I don't know whether we lose altitude or not. Let's have a little look down here, see if we can see our altitude. There it is. Uh, and we seem to actually, yeah, stay at about the right altitude. That's awesome. 
Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got an integrated moving map. So if you look right there, that is where we are. That's where we're going from. Uh, and you can see it moves. That's pretty cool. That is actually really, really cool. That's awesome. Anyway, there is a mountain in front of us. We're going to go up a little bit, if I can. There we go. Oh, it might be spawning in. There it is. There it is right there. So as you guys can see, there's a heliport down there. There's also two more of these helicopters. Uh, it does turn out that we don't actually have a landing spot, but uh, we're going to go for it anyway. Okie dokie, so it does seem to like level itself out when it gets very close to the GPS. Uh, I'm not going to assume that it lands itself, but um, yeah, we're not going to assume that. We're going to go ahead and land it for it. So let's turn the GPS off uh, and we'll start actually descending. Okay, we're going to go ahead and descend down over on this side. We're probably just going to land on the other side of the road. Uh, to be totally honest with you, because that just makes sense. Also, if you're wondering why those helicopters have moved back backwards, uh, it's because the brakes don't automatically start on on this thing. Uh, so they do move backwards, uh, which is unfortunate, but um, there you go. Okay, so we've gone ahead and touched down. We're going to go ahead and turn our engines off. There we go. That stops us from actually taking off again, which is awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the power off, and the APU shouldn't have really been on just then, but it was. Uh, turn the generators off, turn the light out, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, now that we've actually turned the power off, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out. Is it taking off again? No. Oh, the parking brake isn't on. I forgot to put the parking brake on. Uh, it is just there. Alright, there we go. Parking brake's on. Awesome. So yeah, this one is actually fitted out to be an Airways. Uh, it's like, it's not an airliner, obviously, because it's a, it's a helicopter, but it's fitted out to transport passengers. Um, and that is actually really, really cool. The other ones are set out differently, so I believe one of them is a search and rescue helicopter, and I'm not entirely sure what the other one is. It looks like a, a bit of a military one, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out these helicopters, then we'll check out this, uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens. I wish those blades would stop. Stop it! Anyway, uh, how do I open the door? The door actually opens on the other side, so it's this again. There we go, awesome. This one must be the search and rescue one. If we have a little look on the inside, you can see. Oh my. Okay, can we turn the lights on? We can. Uh, so inside of here, we got some rescue equipment, um, which is pretty... That looks insane. Wow, this is all painted in. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have a winch right there. We've gone ahead and we've got some other things right here. We've got a fly gun. We've got a hose and we've got a fire extinguisher along with two seats. Uh, we got some rope right here. We got some cables right there. And if we go even further backwards, we've got this, uh, which I believe is... Is that a winch? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Not sure. Um, I don't really know what's going on back here. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back there. Weird. Um, but yeah, it does actually look really, really cool. So I think we'll actually... Let's go outside and see what that is, because I really don't know. Uh, this is all different inside of here as well. There's a bunch of different things. Uh, these fuel cutoffs are in a different place. Um, the GPS is in a different place as well, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, there's a bunch of cameras, there's a cargo light, uh, so you can actually transport cargo in this thing. Uh, and all of these are in a different place too, actually, except from this. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. So, let's get outside of this one, we'll head over to the next one, and we'll check that out. Oh, this is a helicopter for the Marines! Oh wow, okay, right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get inside this one, see what this looks like. Uh, they do have this on the side, which isn't on the other ones, I don't believe. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not on that one either. So there's an outside winch. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump inside and see what else we've got. Looks like we got some med beds. We got some transport seats. We have a floor. Wait, we can remove the floor panel. Uh, so we can actually drop the winch down. That's pretty awesome. Um, and we've got some seats right there as well. Can I fold those down? I'm wondering if I can actually fold these seats. It looks like we should be able to. Cable down, automatic winch. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, what is this? Titan storage winch. Interesting. Uh, so at the back as well, we do actually have a door that must open. Surely. Does it open? Yep, ramp down. Here we go. Uh, and you can actually put like some storage in here. That's pretty cool. This is so nice. I really like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and close that up. Awesome. Run to the front and figure out this stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll get out. Here we go. All right, we're leaving. Go ahead and close this up, and that is awesome. I actually really, really, really like the way these things look as well. The livery on this one looks fantastic. The livery on that one also looks fantastic, and I think that's my favorite over there. I, I think that actually looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, now it's time to actually move on to the building itself. Oh, actually, before we get to the building, 
Uh, we've got these. So you can actually refuel with diesel or you can refuel with jet fuel from these hoses. That is actually pretty cool. Um, so I'm assuming there's a big tank, a big tank for these things somewhere uh, underground. That is nice. That is a nice addition. Anyway, uh, there's a windsock uh, over there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, around the side, we've actually got a generator, I believe. Yes, we do. Uh, we've also got a diesel tank. I guess this is to refuel the diesel for the generator. That is awesome. Right, how do we open this door then? How do we open this door? I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Hangar door open. <gasps> oh, it works like that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's, that is, wow. I didn't expect it to work like that. So there we go. Door is open. We've got a Stormworks logo right there on the wall. Uh, do you have lights? Uh, press in case of fire. We have fire extinguishers in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have whatever this is. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Electricity. Interesting. Okay. We've got a little workroom in here. Can I turn the light on? Nice. Okay. A little workroom um, with what looks like drills, a little workbench, another drill, some clamps. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Let's go out of here. Um, is this for the lights? Yeah, lights two. Oh, that's for outside. Lights one. That's for inside. Pad one spotlights. Oh, that's for outside too. And then pad two spotlights. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we got lights everywhere. That's really cool. Anyway, inside the store, what have we got? We got a kitchen. We got a little table for eating. We have the lights. We have heating. Um, we have a bunch of storage for parachutes. Uh, some Arctic gear. Uh, some firefighting equipment and some diving gear as well. Yeah, I've also got some rope storage and some cable storage down there. That is pretty fantastic. Let's go this way and see what's in this room. We got a little uh, a little rest area. Okay, cool. And then presumably a shower area. Yeah, indeed we do. Nice. Looks like a wet room. That's cool. And then finally, I guess for this building itself, we're gonna go upstairs and check out what's up here on the balcony. So. Uh, it looks like we just got some spare parts, some storage, uh, and that is pretty awesome. We've got the ducting in the roof. Looks like, um, I don't know, it looks like you'd use that for, um, like air circulation and stuff like that. I do want to check this out, so what we'll do is we'll close the door. Does that automatically work? Indeed it does. We'll close the door, we'll press this, and we'll see how well this works. Because because those are the nozzles right there. So I'm assuming that they're going to fire out quite quite rapidly. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and they wave around too. So if there was a fire in here, that would easily put it out. That is cool. That's awesome. All right. Turn that off because we don't need it. Good. Uh, and then finally, let's go and open up this door once again. There we go. Awesome. Is it going up? It's not going up. Hold up. Hold it. There we go. Now it's started moving. We can let go. Uh, we've actually got this. So if you've got a small enough helicopter, you can actually put it on here, uh, change the blades so that they're no longer out like that, and then pull the helicopter inside using this thing. How awesome is that? We've got lights on it. We've got push buttons. I'm not entirely sure what those do. Not going to lie. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. So I don't know if we push this. I don't know how this works. Oh, it's remote controlled. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll put it on, I, I guess it's channel 2, and then we'll try and drive it, which indeed we can. Alright, let's just stand on top, and we'll drive this thing out. Ready? Go, go, go! Oh, nice! Yeah, we can move this around. So, yeah, you'd put your helicopter on top of here, bring it in for maintenance, um, and yeah, you could just change it. That is, that is awesome! Yeah. Also, not sure why the blades haven't stopped on that thing yet. The engines have been off for ages, but never mind. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the whole building. Uh, as well as all the helicopters as well. So I think the last thing we'll do is we'll get inside one of these helicopters and we'll jump out. Why not? I'm just going to leave this pad here because why not? There we go. Uh, we're going to run into the equipment room. We're going to grab some equipment. We're going to then take off and we're going to jump out and parachute. Why not? Here we go. Where's the parachutes at? There they are. Let's go. Okily dokily then. Let's go ahead and open up this one, get inside, and uh, we'll take off with the Marines one just because, I don't know, I think it would be pretty cool. So... We're inside, let's go ahead and turn on the power master, the APU run, generators, uh, instrument lights, there we go, white dome light, why not, strobe lights, beacons, nav lights, that's all good, that's all we need. Uh, we've got heating right there, we don't need it, let's go ahead and turn these on to N, there we go, N as well, very good. Uh, we've got a searchlight, we can move the searchlight around, we got a GPS, autopilot and stuff like that, we just don't need them. So, let's just take off and uh, jump out.
All right, here we go. The engines have started turning. That is awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get in the sky. And yeah, we will be jumping out. There we go. All right, we're going up. That is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't really know how high to go in this thing. I'm not going to lie. Why is it stopped there? It stopped, it stopped going up there for a second. I'm not sure why. But uh, we are still ascending. That's pretty good. Okay. Our lights are still active. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and we will continue going upwards. Wait, what is this? Cargo hook, emergency cut. Oh, should we actually mess around with that real quick? Here we go. Uh, so open the floor. Do, 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 do. Very good. Open up the hatch. And then... Oh, we do. We actually control it from the other side. All right, hold on. Close the floor. Go to the other side. Do this. Where's the lights? For oh, no, we control it from there. Where is the winch? Oh, it's there. That's the winch. Okay, so... We would actually detach this from there, attach it under there, push it out. Alright, awesome. And then lower it down. Active auto winch. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but um... Is that going down? Nope. Harness NPC. Alright, we need to get in the control winch. There we go. Interesting. And then we do this. Oh yeah, look at us go. All right, so I guess this is the point where we uh, we want to jump out. So see you later, alligator in a while, crocodile. Let's go ahead and pop our chute, try fly all the way down, uh, and that is it. We are we're done. We're done. Nice. Anyway, GG. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like down below. That will help me out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you guys do want to check these out, they'll all be linked down below. Anyway, see you in the next one. Goodbye.